Still on my code. Yeah, Come I on. don't know what to tell you about that. What direction? There, there we go. Yep, units, you're going head on with them there. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. And that episode is episode number 99. Uh, we are one away from episode 100. I appreciate all the support you guys have given over all these episodes within this series. Make sure you continue to hit the like button, hit the sub button if you're not already subscribed, and let's go 10 8. Primary 13, uh, can I be respond to 106 uh, at the O'Neill's farm? Ask for a uh, individual called Rogers. Be advised, they called 901 asking for a pizza and a cheeseburger. I got their location um, and I said that I will send somebody. And if you could uh, let them know that uh, 901 is not a uh, fast food uh, delivery service. Yeah, absolutely. I'll head that way. <laughs> okay, so we just got a request. So someone from the O'Neill Farms called 911 asking for pizza. So we need to head here and be like, hey, don't call 911 for a pizza. Don't do that. Oh my God, I've never had a call like that before. That's great. So. Um, I was thinking about going around him. So we're going to head up here and see if we can make contact with someone and see how high they are, I'm guessing. The hell was that noise? What? Four Mary 13. Four Mary 13. Shot coming from uh, where you're at. That's gonna be an A firm. I didn't know if I had heard that, but I just uh, definitely had a few shots just come off. If I can get an additional unit at this point. I didn't know what it was. The other ones I definitely were definitely shots. Where are these shots coming from, though? That's the question. Oh yeah. Heavy shot fire. From Area 13, uh, they're not at officers. We're just hearing the shots fired at the O'Neill Farms right now. I'm not seeing anybody at this current time. Okay, something's coming from over there. That's where one shot sounds like a single like buckshot style, and then now we've got automatic coming from over this way. Yeah, I got, and they I, got one of those big doom buggy deals behind the house. All right, I've got someone on the porch right here. I'm gonna go make contact. Hey, how we doing? Can I help you? Yeah, you called and ordered a pizza or food or something. No. Someone from no. this residence called and ordered food. No, nobody. And called. what is with all the gunfire going off right now? Oh, we're just hunting uh, cockroach. Hunting cockroaches. Yes, yeah, very with, dirty with... home. Okay, so all the gunfire is coming from inside the house right now. Yes, we're we're just hunting cockroach. Nothing crazy. But no, we did not order anything. I usually only order the Amazon Prime because it comes same day. I don't know what you mean. Okay, well, someone from this property called thinking they were ordering food from a food place, but they were calling from 911. Uh, not me. All right, how many people do you have here at the house right now? Uh, only two. Three. Only two. Yeah, four Mary 13, we're on scene, we're good for. All right, here's the deal, my guy. Somebody this from this house right called 911. We can't leave I did until not we know it. everybody's okay. I'm okay. So, can we check the house? Uh, you need to ask my friend. He needs his house. All right, can your friend come out? What is going on? They're hunting uh, I can cockroaches go, I can go call him. with muskets. 
Habibi! Copy that, thank you, sir. Can you come to front? There's police. Metro 4, Mary 13, sir, sir. Yes, two people with uniform want to talk Mary to 13, you. we're code 4 right now. Um, apparently the shots fired are coming from inside the house. They're apparently hunting cockroaches. Hello, Havron. How's it going? Hi. What can I do for you? Well, I'm uh, Deputy Sean, and this is uh, Deputy Paul yeah. with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason why we're out here in the first place is because someone called from this location ordering food. Mm -hmm. Okay, not me. Not okay, me. well, someone from this location ordered food. This is where the call came from, and we were called out here, and then when we pull up, we hear a bunch of gunfire going on. Yes, we're shooting rats. Exterminator too expensive. Okay, so now it's rats? Yes, and cockroach. No, rat and cockroach. I focus I on shoot, cockroach, I you shoot focus on rat. rat. <laughs> if you Is want it... to help, uh, you have big guns. You can help us. Well, Is there anybody else in the house? Uh, no, a we lot only. Of cockroach, but no a other lot of purple. I, you want some uh, lobster boom? Uh, can we check the house? Um, awesome. What? If you want to step on that cockroach, no worries. Yeah, we got boots okay. on. I got boots. <laughs> if boots, you want to, some of them boots. survive um, gunshot. Just if you see something live, uh, just give it big stomp. Okay, and I'll uh, yes. or if flip you... it around and I will. I will <laughs> if kill. you don't kill cockroach, you become cockroach. Okay, follow me inside. I will take you through the door. I... Alright, just keep your weapons slung on your back then for now. Uh, but you don't know where to find everything. You guys stay outside, please. Okay. I will stay here. I didn't lock my car! Sheriff's office! I don't like this. Not either way. Gunfire stopped though once we came in, or talked to him, so that's good. All right, so we're going to clear the car, the house here. All right, so let's put that in. So what do we notice as we walk through the house? I think some of those shots that were coming that sounded like they were behind me are because they were coming from down here. We clear down here? Yeah, that's a mess. I mean, even if it's they're doing that, they can't be using weapons like that, right? No, I mean, the bullet's going to be bigger than the cockroach. Well, I mean, it's gonna yeah. definitely kill it. Right. A lot of bullet holes, a few dead rats, and cockroaches on the floor. House is in a horrible state. If my car is stolen out there right now, I'm gonna be triggered. All right, so we're still clearing. I got nothing. Yeah, it's pretty gross in here. Um, is it clear though? Yeah, it's clear. All right, so. They definitely mm -hmm. shot the fuck out of some cockroaches. Neither of them called, they said, though? And that's what's got me concerned. Right. Um, And they ordered food. What about that barn in the back? Um, You also find a crate with ammunition, but other than that, the house is pretty much empty. Hmm. Okay. Well, if it was somebody else, if it was somebody else that called, then maybe they'll call back again. But I don't know if we want to talk to them about uh, weapons discharge violations. Yeah. Everything good with house? Depends on what you classify as good. Sir, so it's nice real estate here in the area. I just came here. I'm Very an cheap. investor from uh, Los Santos, and I invest in um, shitty houses, and I um, renovate. Why were I they sell, walking you know, from our cars? If you want to, I can sell to you for a cheap price, because you're my friend. Well, I'm all good with that. Uh, my main concern also is going to be you guys using weapons to exterminate cockroaches and rats within inside the house, which is, can still be seen as a weapons discharge violation. No, sir. I'm on my American property, and um, 
it's quicker than to use weird stuff from uh, Walmart, you know? Like those spray can. Okay, well, working. it's still a weapons discharge violation, even if you're on your own property. It's the same thing if you were driving your vehicle in a reckless manner on your own property, you can still be cited for reckless driving. Yes, sir, but I'm not, I'm not reckless because I, I, you see, wait, let me, let me demonstrate. No, I don't need a demonstration. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do, not, I'm not, do I, not put it down. Is that I a don't musket? shoot. I is just show you how I aim for the cockroach. Yes. I am very precise. I'm not going to shoot, but I can show you how, how good my aim is. <laughs> you see? What? If I just look on the ground, you see I have perfect stability. It's, yeah, I mean, your aim is not really the question. It's the firing of a weapon in a house like that that's also in the condition that you've even stated that it's in. That if you were to fire and if something ricocheted or went out the the wall or some sort you have the highway which is not far right over that way and then you've got other houses over that way as well but sir i i, I shoot on i shoot on the floor i shoot on the floor not at wall cockroach do not climb wall okay well the thing here is you, you can't be using weapons like okay, guns we use lobster boom what, what, is, what is that is a lobster boom uh, I don't question. It's a uh, you. It, it's uh, Asian technique from um, from our friends at the lobster hunting industry. It's very awesome. effective. Does it involve uh, any type of fire or explosions? I wouldn't quite say that. <laughs> but we don't have it. It's our friends at the industry. Okay. Paul, do you have any more for these uh, individuals? I do not. Okay. Um, stop using your weapons to exterminate things in the house. Okay. Don't use explosives to. Okay. And if you do, or, and if you are going to call and order food, um, even though you guys say you didn't, uh, don't call nine one one to order food. Okay. Okay. I call nine one one nine. Yeah, or just type zero and get an operator, and maybe they can get you to the right person. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. You okay. Both, both have a great day. Have a nice day. All right. Um, hey, your uh, tire looks flat. Bar, yeah, your tire looks flat. Mine look fine. It looks okay there. I mean, they were walking from our cars when we came outside. Yeah, and I mean, our lights are on, so cameras running. That's true. All right, let me, uh... Yeah, you can look. No, that's your car. I was getting yeah. the door for you. No, thanks. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, it's got a slice on the side of it, so it looks like it was intentional. <laughs> We're both looking at our dash cams at the same time. So, okay, so we've fully cleared the house. There's no one in the house, but we kind of made the mistake of leaving them outside. They could have totally have stolen my car. I didn't lock it at all. Um, but where we're parked, they had to walk towards our cars, so we should see them on dash cam coming towards our cars and doing something to them. It's like you can see the man in the gray robe try pulling off the ALPR, then slicing the tire with the long blade. The other male watched. All right, gray robe's your guy. I'll lock my car this time. I'm gonna go around back because they had that vehicle. I'm gonna see if it's still there. Let's go around. They had that vehicle in the back. Do you think they went through the house and got in the vehicle and took off? Sure shit they did. All right, so the vehicle is gone. Let me go tell Paul that their vehicle. So they probably they're not even going to answer. Oh, we do have one person. I don't think this is who we need, though. And it's raining. Oh, we're going to have to change a tire while it's raining. Off, he slashed my tire. Oh, I did not know about that. What's your buddy's name? Hassan. Hassan it, that's why he did say it was Hassan. Hassan Wahid. But don't um, don't go after him. He's a good boy, good American citizen. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to jail. You vandalized government property. Oh no, sir! You big misunderstanding. He did not. It's I, on camera. I literally have camera footage that shows he no, sir, did do Hassan it. Hassan would never do that. 
Do you want us to show you what he did? Like, you could watch him do it. You were there watching him do it in the first place. The camera shows no, you sir, watching him. No, sir, I was just uh, standing outside. Where is Hassan right now? Because I just walked around back in that uh, vehicle you guys had back there. He went to Walmart, to Target, I don't know. He went grocery shopping. Grocery shopping, okay. Hmm. All right. Is that flag vehicle still out back? No, but I got the. I looked at my body cam. I got the plate. I'm gonna go look it up. All right, so we're gonna go run the plate now at our car. Paul's gonna have to okay, get some. Paul, you have to be on the lookout for a subject in a large black vehicle. He's wanted in reference to two vandalizing truck. D A Z A Z A. For Mary 13, be advised the uh, last transmission of the vehicle we're going to be looking for is going to be a black Zaba. Um, license plates can be Delta, Adam, Zulu, Adam, Zulu, Adam. It's going to be a driver in a gray robe um, with a beard, bald. Is the driver of that vehicle going to have a gray robe, no pants, bald with a beard? Hey, firm. Copy. Go ahead and uh, 15 him. Oh, well, they've already got him. Paul, we got your guy at the LPD. Sweet. You good here? You want me to head over that way? I'm going to meet you there. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's throw this tire at him. <laughs> Throw this tire at him. All right, if Paul's going to be okay here, we'll head that way. We're going to have him 10 15 him over that way. So let's head over to the LTD now and go get our guy that vandalized the car and then decided to take off. Well, at least my car didn't get hit this time, though. Let it be Paul that has, uh, has to do the spare in the rain. So we'll get up here and uh, see what's going on. Clear. Closing. Hands behind your back. <laughs> we clear. Huh? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. What I do? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. He's here. What did I do? What did I do? I slashed my tire and tried to rip my life plate reader off. No, no, I touched. I wanted to see if it was fixated. <laughs> Turn around he's, and put your hands behind your back. He's arguing. Way way. <laughs> he's like, no, no, I didn't. What are these <laughs> rims on this thing? Why didn't I notice this before? Let's uh, make sure this is the Zaza, by the way. And it is. That's what I want to know. Sheriff, before you answer that, you do have the right to remain silent. And you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to remain silent. Hey, just, uh, I'll fill you in just so you're aware. I got attached to a call, 106 O'Neill Farm, for someone calling 911 to order food. We get there, we hear shots fired. These two individuals are out there with robes, with muskets, exterminating cockroaches and rats. We go inside to clear the property, make sure there's no one else in there. We come out talk to them they're walking away from our cars and then we go up to our cars and paul's front driver's side tire is flat we check our dash cams shows this individual try to pull his alpr off can't and then sli um, slashes this tire so that, i think that's a bit much for extermination and that's what i'm saying yeah i told him this uh we just gave him verbal warnings for weapons discharge violations because i mean he was like i was doing it in my house i'm like yeah but you can't, so Should don't. Should be issued a black powder musket in your house. <laughs> yeah, at, at cockroaches. Jesus yes, Christ. exactly. The house looks horrible, but... Oh, I don't doubt it. Yeah, so he's going to get arrested for vandalism, so... Oh, did you get him for speeding? Well, that's what... I was actually doing the most wanted report, and you call it out, he flies past me and passes on the double yellow. And as you're in the middle of calling it out, I'm trying to pull him over, and he's just backing up into here, and then walks off inside. I'm like, okay. Yeah, they're not from this. I think they just recently got to the country, so I don't think they're accustomed with all the laws and everything. So. 
Yes. Did you uh, search your buddy here? Uh, no, I'm just gonna give him a DAT and cut him loose. I'm not actually gonna bring him in. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do a report on him. All right, that sounds good. All right, perfect. Well, then I guess we don't need to search it. I thought he was being arrested. So, uh, he's gonna actually cut him loose, so that works. All right, we don't need to search it. He's, uh, actually gonna just get him all the paperwork and then actually cut him loose. So, I don't know if he's doing something or whatever, but... All righty. So, that works. Hey, I appreciate your help with all this. Yeah. Okay. I'm releasing you with a notice to so you're giving me citation. Appear. No. It's no. a notice to appear. It's a desk appearance ticket, right? So you're being uh -huh. arrested, but you're not going to jail. Make sense? Understand? Oh, isn't that called, um, uh, my buddy got that, uh, um, criminal summons. Similar, yes. Or notice, not notice to... Notice to appear. Ah, oh, yes, is that? Yep. So, it's an arrest oh. on your record, okay. but you're not going to jail. Yeah. Oh, you know, you okay. You go in front of the judge, you deal with all that. All right? Okay. Okay. All right, turn around, I'm going to take the cuffs off you. And make sure you show up right. for that, because if you don't, then you'll have a warrant for your arrest. Yes. For failure, okay, failure wait, to appear. We're just still standing in the rain right now, just getting soaked. Wait, I got another right. question. Why were they doing exterminations go. with yes, muskets yes, yes. for roaches and for rats you? with just wearing yeah, robes? Good, and one for you. Then keep it. It's very special. Okay. It's very special. Very. You can <laughs> put, right, put it, it in frame at home here. Okay. Put it in the frame. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, I don't know. Very, very, very expensive and very special. All right. Um, well, I, I, go, listen, listen, listen. Listen, 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 you. listen, Linda. I am, I, I did want, not want to damage vehicle, but, uh, buddy bought house and he is trying to sell for make money business, but house infested by, um, Disgusting creatures. Okay. Well, musket balls are not going to make the house look any better. Neither knives or. Okay, then we're going to use lobster bombs. No, lobster bombs make house look great, like spacious, more space after lobster bomb. <laughs> Something like that. All right, you're free to go, sir. Okay. Um, just by the way, if you hear very loud boom, um, out of one zero six, we are okay. If yeah, let's not, not okay, hear. We'll see fire. Let's not yeah, no. hear a really loud boom. Okay, I'm just telling you for future. Okay, then I wish you very pleasant day. Have a nice one. Uh, okay. Watch out, slippery. I have very big tires. You don't, so watch out. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, we're totally hearing a big boom. Yeah. All right. Well, it is time for me to go off duty. All right. We well, have a lovely day. All right, well, he's going to leave. Um, I, I feel like we're going to hear a big boom. But uh, I guess I, I guess we'll see what happens. So for now, we'll be back tonight. Man, there's the loud boom. If you hear the loud boom, don't worry about it. But if you see fire, then it's a prop. Oh my god, bro. What are they doing? Drive by and make sure we don't see fire. I see smoke. Oh, I see fire. I see fire. I see fire. Oh yeah, this whole house is on fire. Copy, Formula 13, I've got a fully involved house fire here, 106. Me and one other unit here on scene right now. HP unit, go stop that. Car right there, please. If I can get uh, one or two more units, I'll go over and get fire. 
Four Mary 13 for this house at 106. Let's just make sure we're shutting down the roads around it. If we see the two in two individuals both wearing robes, bald, with beards, um, those are going to be the two that we want for this. Yeah, just for further 43, they were exterminating roaches and rats earlier with muskets. Um, we told them to stop, and then they said they were going to be used what was called a lobster bomb. And uh, apparently this is what it is. <laughs> you want to detain Martin? Yeah, at this time, let's go ahead and detain them because uh, we need to figure out what's going on with this. All right, well, we are on fire, or on fire, we're on scene now. Um, the lobster bomb is uh, apparently what uh, went off here. Uh, so they're going to have them detained, but this is probably going to be like an arson call at this point, because I don't know what they used, or if we're going to be able to figure out what they're using, but they even called 911 say, my house is burning 106. So this thing's just going to have to be a full rebuild at this point if he's going to try and sell it. Um, so I hear a medic, but hopefully we've got a truck activating um, that's going to be coming down here to uh, put this out. I don't think never caught it because what I saw you well, touching car. Here's thing number two. Where, I what? saw you touching car. You don't touch his car, Habibi. So what are we doing? Why is your house on fire? Or his house I don't fire. know. I was outside I'm, I'm and uh, I see. I wife. heard a big boom and. Is he light gray or dark gray? Is this Hassan uh, or? I got Zahura. the dude with hair in the back of the HP charger. All right, what's your name, boss? Ahura. Ahura. All right. It's advised you're, you're running. You're still team. I'm just advised you Miranda rights. You have rights for yourself. Is this Hassan? We gotta figure out what's going on. Is this Hassan? Oh, uh, yes. What's going on? What? Okay, so remember we just at the gas station. You said if I hear a boom, ignore it. But if I see yeah. fire, it's bad. Yes. W what do I see right here? Fire. The entire house is on fire. What did you guys use? A lobster boom. But What's a lobster, lobster boom? boom? Um, pipe bomb. A pipe bomb? Oh, my God. Okay. But it's, it's a lobster boom. It's, or at least we were told it is. It's, it's. I think it's pipe bomb. We only we spy it as a lobster bomb, not 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 a bomb. Lobster boom. You know, you but throw it, it into water, okay. and you you throw it into the water, and then the lobster flow to surface. After boom, you know, lobster. So you just you use water. a regular bomb. You're just calling no. it a lobster bomb because people throw it in the water and lobsters float to the top after it explodes? Yes, also fish. Also fish go in. But I only had two and I you, used two and the last one made... Um, yeah, I heard I both I explosions. I he, oh, okay. So was your buddy over there, did he do them or was it just you? Because you just said you did too. Uh, could you repeat? Yeah, so did your buddy Do have any active Did your buddy um, have any involvement with these lobster bombs or was it just you that set them? Yes. Why? Yes, he did. He gave them into my hand and I throw. Okay, so did you light them or did he light them? No, no, they impact. So you just throw them and then they just explode? Yes, very hard to impact. <laughs> okay. So he handed them to you and then you threw it. Huh? He, he handed them to you and then three you Charles threw them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, I don't know what the trooper did with one of these dudes' muskets. By God, the other one would be. It's on the hood of the, the truck up there. Okay. Yeah, so. Well, you want the two muskets? Uh, it, at this point, it doesn't matter. The, the muskets, I mean, you can secure them. They're, they weren't involved in this, but. Um, their definition of lobster bomb or lobs lobster boom is because they use pipe bombs to hunt lobsters. So they literally just threw, they've been trying to exterminate this house and they just threw pipe bombs and they were impact bombs. So um, the one in my car handed them to the one in this car and the one in this car is the one who threw it. All right, then. Uh, here, well, here's Musk. I'm gonna go run the dude in the back to charge real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay. 
essentially it looked like pipe bomb but it's lobster boom it's um why different. my thing is is why do you think it was a good idea to throw okay so you see the lobster boom right for the lobster hunting industry those are thrown in water right here you guys threw it into a severely dehydrated house Uh, sir, my car is burning. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Sir, my car. <laughs> yeah, Come I on. don't know what I can tell you about that. My car. Okay, do you see my issue now with throwing uh, the lobster boom so inside your house you and said, what's happening? You said we cannot shoot with um, right. There are the actual things like you can go to the store and buy an actual like cockroach spray. So we didn't find. We had to use quick method because um, quick method. Yes, because the investor was coming like this evening. He I said. mean, I will give it to you. The cockroaches are probably dead now. Yes, sir, they're dead. They're dead. The rats House are dead. Really but the whole entire oh, house is dead. Anyway. You're going to have to probably rebuild this whole thing now. So it's fine. The, the property is the, the more important thing here. I was will see it anyway. Right. I mean, it, hopefully, it, hopefully it doesn't spread to the barn. Well, it spread to my car. Yeah, the car's, uh, car looks like it's gone at this point. Yes, sir. Oh but uh, goodness, where was fire? Why was he not saving car? He's, they're fighting the fire in the house. There's not but a there's ton more right now. Fire. So the fire was so strong, they it blew up armored vehicle. All right. So at this time, I'll just let you know what we're looking at is arson because of what was thrown and the knowledge of it be knowingly being able to catch on fire. Um, since you weren't the one that actually threw them your charge is in a sense lesser than your friend over there yes okay. sir i mean i just gave him lobster bomb to get rid of cockroach i did not know it's gonna blow up house right right and my car well when we were speaking to your friend at the gas station because we had caught up to him after he slashed uh, the other deputy's tires he mentioned if you hear a boom it's okay but if you see a fire then it's not. So he knew there was a risk of the house being set on fire. Sir, you just told him to get a bit of um, rat and cockroach. I, I didn't know. Right. Well, I think your friend did. So I believe your friend's going to be charged with a felony arson. But since you aided him with handing him the lobster bombs, the lobster booms, whatever you call them, um, you're being charged with arson as well, but it's just going to be the misdemeanor since you aided in that, okay? Oh, okay. All right. So I will be going to uh, American prison? Yeah, but I don't think you're, you'll are you be there that long, though, okay? Okay. And then what we're, what, we're, what I'm going to do for you is uh, we're going to go down to the station. We'll get you fingerprinted and uh, everything filled out, but then uh, we'll give you a, a notice to appear from there since this is your first time being arrested, okay? Just okay. want to make sure we get your fingerprints in the system, um, but then uh, we're not going to have you actually like transported at all because uh, you've been you were cooperative with us when we were here earlier. Um, and it seems like your buddy is the one that uh, it's the one that wants to get involved with the slashing of tires and throwing of bombs. So I'm going to be a little bit more lenient with you, um, but just since it is your first arrest, we'll just get you processed and then uh, you can call like a cab or a taxi to come pick you up or whatever. Okay. Okay, thank you, Habibi. <laughs> All right, so we're just arriving here. We'll do the paperwork for both. But um, what we're going to do for this one, since he actually wasn't directly involved, that he's going to get the arrest for it. But it'll be more of like uh, not fully getting, you know, arrested. All right, you can go ahead and watch your head and step out. All right, then go ahead and come with me. All right, go ahead and place your fingers on here. This is going to be the fingerprinting process here where we get you in the system. And then once we go ahead and do that, um, I'm going to get you a copy of the paperwork here, and then you'll be able to go, okay? 
Okay, there you go. All right, here is a copy of your rest report in a sense with your notes to appear you. and your ID as well, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, all right, Mr. Zad, you are going to be free to go at this time, okay? Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. Yep, you too. No more bombs. All right, so we've got a pursuit that's heading our way right now. So we are going to uh, hopefully intercept them here. Charles, you all spikes are approved. Just call them out ahead of time. I've been sent across the dash. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, so we're going to be third. We're entering Toledo Bay, 040, still northbound towards Toledo State. Let's get caught up here. Ooh, someone's popping. I can't hear the radio. Uh, two twenty-five. Uh, clear for pit. Speeds go underneath 70 miles an hour. All right, let's go, baby. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why is this guy's running. Like, it looks like they were trying to start do a traffic stop. Here, they tried to do a traffic stop and then he just took off. So, unsure if they're armed at all. But we'll get ready and uh, see what's going to go on with this. He's off the lane. He just pipe bombed in my lane. Good spikes. You say good spikes? 525. Uh, another. Oh, he just tired to pop. He cut the spikes. He's going to be off the lane. All right, we're going to be entering hookies now. Pass the hookies southbound. 194 GOH. Still off the lane of traffic. Heading towards San Kudo. Oh. Got spikes are down. Top 3 3, you touch. Copy, spikes are down, opposite lane, spikes are down. Spikes are down, opposite lanes. 5 25, or I was uh, tapped by a local there. Um, one of the three tires were out, he was skidding on the uh, back there. Uh, yeah, he's off road under the bridge at DOH, headed for the water. Oh, go Air yeah. 2 1 overhead. Yeah, start the boat unit and medical suspect high speed into the water. 418 under the GOH bridge. Alert San Kudo, military. Alright, so we're gonna head up yeah, here. They, the they swam here. across, the so they're gonna be at the dirt road. So we're gonna go this way. Approaching the dirt road now. Uh, and take this dirt road there. down and try and get after them. I don't think they were armed. Again, behind the first killer. Control T, you can attach me, please. So we're gonna head down. There we go. We got another unit going by right now. We're gonna be going back south under the bridge. Ah. I have eyes on the one white. I've, I have uh, lost the uh, suspect in black. Two go point seven. He's running directly south underneath the bridge. He's on the east side of it now. He's running south Turn again. North side, coming back to the east side. You know, I just stole get onto a look car. Suspect and suspect is with them. They are taking off in the vehicle now. Which way? Red, uh, stand by. It's gonna be a red two-door convertible, top down. Which direction? There, there we go. Yep, units, you're going head on with them there. Just struck a unit there, westbound on the dirt road. Yeah, we're good. That was a little bit of a hard hit, but... <laughs> They're going, we're going. Our crash looks good. Traffic clear, weather clear, speed 70. It's also a dirt road, high huh? tracking. 200, still continuing. All right, so uh, they've west. stolen a vehicle now. Um, hopefully someone clearing the other one that went in the Here's water. We'll, uh, we'll take call out. Uh, continuing with the GOA. No shot that this is um, going to be faster than the other one that they had. Three more, be advised. Two ones already above. Uh, back correct lanes, units take call out. I'm gonna fucking lose it! Come on! Hurry Fuck. up! Unit status. 1070 coming south through the tunnel. We got two 1070s, one going northbound opposite lanes, charger unit right there. 
Uh, County, if you're okay with it, myself and uh, HP Crown Victoria just happen to be south of the tunnel to help. Got tackle. Don't move. I got down full still. I got, I got two. David, five, seven, six, six, way, I've got a separate 1080. He's turning on to GOH right now. Black Dodge Charger. Uh, black 10. or North Fuck. GOH. Coming towards oh, the nice. Nice taser. Taser's good. He units at the tunnel. Stop this guy. Taser deployed on north side. Air 2-1 has lost the Black Charger. They're picking up the suspects. Trying to anyway. One times 10, 15 on the north side. Where's this other? Oh, got one taser on the south. Whatever's going on. What's that? Tased again. 2020, 20, get in front of this charger. Uh, fifth fight with units on Holy the Holy shit! Fight. What are they running for? You guys code four right here. Yeah, can you give me a med bag? We're gonna have these taser here. prongs out. Yeah. South give a bridge. med bag and grab out of your trunk. Yeah. Alright, All right, here you go. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Search him now. Alright, so the car despawned because it was a stolen local vehicle and everyone got so far away it's despawned. So we put down a scene note here and we'll just do it like this here. Um, 201 searches stolen red 1080 vehicle. We'll just do it that way. You can see my message is there. I asked if it was stolen. I could zeroed and came back, but it was already gone before that. So we'll uh, we'll see uh, if anything comes back with it. Guy, which All right. Black Charger is not doing so there's well. nothing in the vehicle. Got um, I don't mind about the Black Charger. I'm more concerned about the uh, so primary. We're chilling. The original um, what's it, 20? All right, so uh, you can say County took the uh, the red car now at this point, but uh, we'll be here babysitting these two cars until the, these units run back uh, through the tunnel. All right, we're back at the station. I've uh, got uh, my damaged headlight and all that. So uh, we've got had the two scenes. We had the lobster boom, and then we had a nice little pursuit there. So appreciate you guys to come check out the video. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the sub button, and we'll see you guys in episode 100.